all the people that are against OnlyFans, and that's fine. But if you just made a feet foot page, you're out in public in flip flops most of the time. People are taking more. pictures of your feet, whether you know it or not. Ex which is outrageous. Taiwan teacher earns a certain amount of money a year by giving math lessons on Pornhub. New York City rats will be given birth control. What how do you give? We can get cameo from animals. Fiona the hippo. Wait, let me see what Fiona looks like. <laughs> what? No, let me see. Let me Is see she what... bad or not? No. Just... Don't do that. <laughs>
Um, LeBron James, I got some questions. Oh, not for a question. Yeah, but you don't get to ask right. a question. But LeBron James would be dope. A cameo would be, oh, hey, I bought this for you, and it's them telling you yeah, happy birthday. Right. LeBron James. You don't get to ask him questions after that. Samuel L. Jackson would be a, would be a dope one for me. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio would be dope. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. Who else would be pretty dope? Yeah, we can't do that one. Um Barack Obama would be dope. That'd be a dope one. I don't think Dwayne Rock Johnson's on there. I thought he was. Mm. Denzel. Mm. Is Denzel on there? Denzel's not on there. I'll see Denzel. Who's the first person that you see that's on there? Because I know when you look. Oh, I'm just searching. Who are some people that are on there that you can actually legit? I know. I'm pretty sure Paul Rudd is on there. A lot of these trending are like. Content creators, yeah, TikTokers. I, I don't want to speak to none of them. Wrestlers, rappers. Who were the other ones you said besides Denzel and The Rock? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio would be dope. Um, Jamie Foxx would be dope. I don't see Leonardo. Um, Jamie. Jamie would be would be for sure dope. Uh, no, no, Jamie on there. I don't see him. Damn, I don't see like anybody. There's musicians, no, no, just, creators, no. comedians. What comedians they got? They ain't got any good comedians. Um, I'm gonna skip over one that I know. <laughs> well, who's that? <laughs> oh, oh, we you already know him though. Yeah, yeah, he's funny though. Yeah. Um, Tommy Chong, like Cheech and Chong, Anthony Anderson, okay. Michael Michael Rapaport. Okay. People from the office, Better oh, Call Saul, I, I Housewives. Like, I Harry, think people from the office would be dope. That would Harry be dope. Potter. Harry Potter, really? Mascots from like sports teams. No, sir. They don't even speak. Drew Bledsoe. Who's that? NFL player. I'd have to see his face. No. No, it doesn't. Doesn't ring a bell. Ring a bell. Brett Favre. Oh, that's a great. One. You can get one from. I don't need I, I, I don't need one of those. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the man. No. Here, I know who's I'm lived with the I know man. what I know what uh Cammy I'm gonna get you. Oh Antonio Brown. Oh no. You tripping. <laughs> I'm good. Hang listen, I'll say this though. When Antonio was playing, probably one of the best receivers of all time. Mm -hmm. well, top top five for sure. I promise you. And then I can't speak on it then. That is that is a whole that's his life, but before, pfft, I look forward to watching him play. Mm. As a kid, most of us did. Yeah, but damn, I didn't I didn't know Unc was on now. I didn't. You know can Unc. get cameo from animals. <laughs> Say what? They got they got a koala. There's a duck. You can get a Fiona the hippo. Wait, let me see what Fiona looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <I wanna> see. <laughs> Is she, she bad or no? no I just, don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a feel of the hip. I just wanted to see what cameo the, just maybe for that. Maybe there's a cute hip. See, that's a that's a cute hippo. It's a little baby hippo. Shut the fuck up. I, I, all right, who else? What other Brody animal? the doodle. The oh, doodle. I know what kind. Of, that's that's the dog that wears the glasses. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Um, he got on there? Christy Ellis is the Duncan Duck. It shows a duck in a Duncan box. I know. Panko Cat. No, I'm good. I you the gold, Golden Retrievers. Tuna Melts. What the fuck is that? Sorry. Can, Res respectfully. Can Do they have cameras for Miss Peach? Elephant. Is Miss Peaches on there? I would for sure do a camera on Miss Peaches. I just love Miss Peaches. I don't know what it is about Miss Peaches. I don't see her. Damn. Dave. Birds, porcupines. Dave, if you see this, can you make a cameo? Can you send me a cameo? On Raccoons. Peaches? No, I'm good. Frogs. I don't like those. Cows. Too. Golden doodles. I'm coyotes. Gonna, I want Miss Peaches. I'm going to make a video. There's someone Coyote. someone named Barry who's charging $5 to put this filter on his face to look like a bear. Damn. Wait, so no, no, no big actors? Yeah, them. I mean, let's see. Have Actors. We, yeah, we didn't. Leah Thompson. Let me see. I gotta see Leah. Mid. 
Not mid actor, but like Dean Norris from Breaking Bad. No, nah, that, that wouldn't impress me. Um, I need something that's gonna be like, oh, oh shit, okay. I'm not saying any. I swear, nobody. That's like. There's a lot in here. It's just I don't recognize half of these people. Let me just see the faces real quick. Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> nah, I'm good on Kevin. Starship Troopers. I know who that is, but I'm good. What about Gata? Did you ever watch? I, 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 Gata would be a cool one. I like Gata. Cause, and Lil Dicky. So, yeah. yeah. He was Listen, good. there's not many. Which is a surprise. I would, you would think more people would do that because it's it's very... Okay, well, I will send you an animal cameo from the hippo that you love so much. Oh, yeah. The hippo was a cute little hippo. Hopefully she says like some words or something. What is it? Like sounds. Maybe eats a cake. <laughs> she bad or? I didn't say she. I didn't say that. I just like what she looked like. Like it, it should could it could have been a grown hippo. Could have <sighs> Fiona, a, what does she do? It's only a, it's a hundred bucks. A hundred dollars. What does she do? Average video length forty four seconds. Uh, for a hundred dollars, Fiona. That's what I'm saying. You you think fucking these big actors a hundred bucks for a minute? Yes. So LeBron, I, I'm gonna up the price. It's got to be at least five bands for a minute. He just, he doesn't need it. No. So he would do good. it. Um, yeah, they really didn't yeah. have any good actors. All right, so Merry Christmas. <sighs> All right, next headline. <laughs> I'm going to be mad as this shit. It says, man rushed to hospital after stuffing 15 of what up his bum? Batteries. Batteries? Was it batteries? 15 hard-boiled eggs. What was the purpose? I don't understand why people do these things. It says a, a Dutch man was hospitalized after inserting 15 hard-boiled eggs into his rectum Jesus. while under the influence of drugs. This is why we don't do drugs, kids. This is why we don't do okay. drugs. Okay, what happened to Dare? Oh, it's been a because long time. Because it's been a long I became time. an adult and you no longer hear about it. It says it led to severe abdominal pain, promoting emergency surgery to remove the eggs, which had caused tears in his and tears in his intestines. That's not good. I don't. What? What was? Why <clears throat> did he just eat the fifteen? Why did he have to put them in the other way? Listen, I'm not. I've never really been on drugs, right? It's never been my thing. <laughs> but the last thing on my mind is to shove literally anything, let alone eggs up my ass where does this thought come from this couldn't well, have been this couldn't drug. have been a random thought no it was oh, like it was something he's been thinking about for a while no, I, I but with drugs you got to be mindful you're you're just not yourself like for depends example on the drug no it does depend on the drug like okay. the guy the guy um who um, he was on mushrooms okay and he tried to take over the plane you remember that oh, situation no well he just he, he did a whole interview about listen i was i was I was he voluntarily on. took the mushrooms. No, I, th he, I think the, from the video that I watched or his interview, I think he took it the night before, the day before, something like that. He maybe took some more that day, and yeah. he was just like, I was just, I thought I was in a whole different world, All different right. realm. But drugs, don't do drugs, kids. That would be the last thing on my mind. My well, mushrooms were taking over a play. Shoving eggs up my ass. Yeah, I you think know, that's everybody's last thing. Not Besides is, his. you know. And why hard-boiled eggs? Should they be raw eggs? I don't think they should be eggs at all. I don't think anything should. That's a place where things come out. You go to the bathroom. Yeah. Except for that one guy, one jar. Remember that? Nope. It was the same, around the same time as two girls in one cup. No, I didn't. I, have yet to, I haven't seen that, that video. Nor have, I haven't seen It's traumatizing. That's I'm, when I was a I've never seen that video. Teenager. I don't plan on it. I know about the video, but I've never seen it. Good. No, where I have work. Good. That is crazy work. <laughs> crazy work. Just saying. All right. This says, male fruit flies seek out alcohol re when rejected for intercourse. Oh, so male fruit flies are humans. Yes. <laughs> Basically. Correct. <laughs> um, and then a opposite, well, maybe similar headline. Says female dragonflies will fake their own death to avoid mating with unwanted males. Also humans. So. 
I don't blame women for faking. <laughs> faking your own death. She don't know. You get, you get to the club. Hey, girl, you want to come home with me? She just falls dead. over. Yeah. She dead. It'd be like that. Listen, it does Duh. be like that. All right. Something I think you could get into. <sighs> Taiwan teacher earns a certain amount of money a year by giving math lessons on Pornhub. It says he's a Taiwanese math teacher who has revolutionized online education with an unorthodox approach. In a bold move to make himself stand out in the crowd in online tutoring space, he started uploading videos of math lessons on Pornhub. A platform obviously known for adult content within with nearly 3 million views and over 13,000 subscribers. So it's his no, it says no his clickbait strategy paid off, driving traffic to his paid courses and boosting his income to a staggering 207 dollars a year. Wait, so what's the clickbait? I don't know. So I, I'm sure he probably the clickbait is he probably sets it up as a porn or like makes insinuates it's a porn so it's clickbait and then people end up watching it and then keep watching it. Yeah, but that'd be crazy to me because say for example, you're you're going on Pornhub and you're like, oh, I'm gonna watch this video. And the video starts and it's, today class we'll be learning about two plus two, <laughs> which is crazy. Or well, it'll be all adults, so they'll be then. Today we're gonna learn I'm how just to find what a is, point slope for. What is this clickbait strategy? But whatever it did is hey, it worked. I mean, because he got three million views. That's crazy how you go on there and you be and like 13, oh. 13,000 subscribers. So people not only saw it, they, they subscribed. subscribed. They really want to learn. I think he's smart as fuck. That's crazy. If I mean, you if you could if you could upload anything as clickbait, but obviously it'd be really whatever you uploaded to Pornhub and make money off it. What would you do? Cooking channel. A cooking channel. Okay. So you would just cook on Pornhub. Yeah. On today's episode of Cooking with Mike, we're making steak. In the microwave. No. In the iron skillet. <laughs> and the microwave. No. <laughs> to finish. No. And to finish. You might you might get more views because I put it in the microwave. You put it in the microwave and people are gonna send it to each other. To watch it Maybe. and get pissed off. See, that's the thing. Like, I know people hate oh when someone does shit wrong or whatever. Yeah, but it's but that type thing. of shit gets people to like share it and talk about it and like you know what I mean. You know, you know that's funny. If you, you cook wrong that. on Pornhub, like doing shit and then wrong, you ever see those videos and it's like this wife and the husband's filming, and they make I the weirdest stuff. The, the weirdest shit. What you're about. The most opposite of how you should cook some shit like they'll put a whole block of cheese instead, they're, of, they're so, instead of melting it they sell it too like they're so serious they're like oh this is gonna be so good and they taste it oh yeah and it pisses me off but that shit it gets sells. views yeah it does it does I, another one that gets views that I, I hate but i can't stop watching is when the dude is gonna make something from scratch uh -huh. but he makes something out of something out of something out of something so he makes, say for example, he's making cookies, right? Uh -huh. Then he's gonna make those cookies into a candy bar. So once the cookies are done, you oh think he's God. about to eat them, he puts them in, oh, it's weird. So it's just like a constant making shit with the shit with he already the, made. Yeah, so like cookies, pastries, burger, it just, it keeps going. And I'm just like, wait, when are we off. gonna stop? Never. And it, I'm there for the whole time. I watched, what, what do they say to get paid? You have to watch it through. For what? Uh, for like a minute or something. For what? On Instagram or? On TikTok. On TikTok. That was hey, you have to watch it for at least five seconds to he, count. He gets me for a whole minute. Because I'm over there just like, because every single time, even though he's making something, he ends with something. But you have to get through the whole video to see it's, what he it, does. Is it you who sent me that one? Was it him making something, making Burritos? something? Burritos? Yes. Yeah. Because he made a burrito into a quesadilla, into a quesadilla, into a little, yeah, yeah. No, he just kept making the burritos, and then he'd blend it up. And oh, then yeah. And burrito, and then he'd blend it up. And then he made mini, mini burritos. That's him. That's like, him. rolled into a burrito, and blend then, it up. <laughs> that pissed me off. Well, you watched the whole thing. I did. Exactly. That's how you got me. You got me. So maybe you should do that. 
No, I don't. I don't want to copy anybody. Make thing. wrong cooking videos, or just one thing's wrong. I think. I no, I'm not gonna do that one either. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, a clothing haul. But instead of me putting on the clothes, I'm taking off the clothes, but the, the clothes don't end. Meaning. You're wearing a hundred pieces of clothing? Yes. So it'll be there all day. Okay. You gotta work maybe, on that. Yeah, maybe not my best work. Give me some time. We gotta work on your Try ideas. <laughs> I didn't love that one. Um. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Now, this is the most... I don't know how I want to set this up. This is the most common sense or no shit headline. Studies show the most likely place to meet a partner is now on the internet. Oh, yeah. We knew that. I don't think we needed an article for that. Yeah, no. It's it's not. But here we are. It's not at Whole Foods, that's for sure. I wish. All right. How would you describe your sleeping pattern? Do you think you have insomnia? Do you think you get enough sleep? Are you always tired? I think I'm getting more sleep. But you're good. You're rested. I think I'm better now because I've made some changes to my sleep. Okay. Yeah. I used to think I had insomnia. That's and I think I still do. Can't, ew, yeah, I just can't sleep. Seriously. However, it's not that I can't sleep. I just don't like going to sleep. And then when I sleep, I don't want to wake up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's this thing called hypersomnia. And it's a condition where a person can sleep for 12 to 15 hours but still wake up feeling tired. So you, that's, that's me. Have, yeah. I think I have that. I think I have insomnia is in the fact that I could stay up forever, but then I don't want to like, I want I just want to sleep. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. that I can't sleep. I just sleep late. I, lately, I've been have uh, lately I've been having to force myself to go to sleep because I don't force feel, yourself. Yeah, like I have to turn everything off. I have to lay down. But one thing that I've done that's taken me a minute to get used to. I've been. I think I've told you. I've been. Uh, taping my mouth shut so like i i i literally put tape on my mouth mouth tape and and it helps it it's bro oh my goodness it's it takes a minute to get used to mm -hmm. but I, it and it stays on the whole night stays on the whole night and i can't breathe through my mouth Damn. only through my nose and i was nervous for a second there but what i do also is when i sleep with my uh with my mouth shut I also put Vicks on my chest, okay. and I I don't know what it is about the Vicks, but I'm just breathing. I'm just I'm getting good air through your nose. I'm yeah, and I'm getting that good sleep to the point where, and and my jaw lines get stronger because they say most motherfuckers when they sleep. Oh, yeah, when most people sleep with their mouth open, and they stay in that position, uh -huh. but they stay there like this the whole time. So. I'd rather be there like that. So taping your lips together keeps your jaw from? Yeah, because when you tape your lips together, right? It nobody's just sleeping. Nobody's sleeping like. Mm. Just like droops. No. Nobody's sleeping like that. Nobody does. Mm. No, I don't. When my mouth's shut. I can't wait for that to be the thumbnail. <laughs> well, mm, <that? laughs> your eyes roll back too. Oh. But no, when you hear it, like, mm. okay. Yeah, try it. It, it it's scary, oh and you ain't you ain't got big lips, so it won't affect you much. Facts. Yeah. I mean, you don't. I actually dissolve some of it. In the it looks top. small. Thank you. I you dissolve some of it. No, I know that. That's why they're small. Fuck you. <laughs> Did you not get it? When I said it the first <laughs> yeah, time? I know. I'm just saying why. Shit. You you have small lips. Hey, hey, hey. In the family. Yeah. Caucasian as fuck. It's yeah, not. All right. Ashamed of it. All right, so let's see. What's one thing you think you probably would never do in front of a partner? Or is there anything? Um, if she's my wife, like, no, I mean, there's everything. There's, okay, so yeah, would you would that. do everything. Yeah. All right, well, this says farting in front of your partner can be a positive sign of health and relationship strength, according to science. Yeah, so would I, you I would fart agree. in front of your partner? Would I? Yeah. I feel like people that do is... It's, 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 it's like, it's funny, <laughs> but like, it's, it's not funny. But the people that are like grossed out about it. No. Like, you know, what's funny is like my, I, I could use my parents, for example. Yeah. There's been times where like certain things, if my mom eats, 
it, it, yeah we know like cheryl you got to go what do you mean like like she does it and you know about it but like there'll be times where she'll do it and my dad will be like sure i know that wasn't you <laughs> and he'll look at her and say and she's like damn because she'll try to get yeah. away with it and and my dad would be like you mother <laughs> like yeah, I Cheryl. feel like my parents are very comfortable with each yeah. other. Yeah, no, it I that I think to me that shows even if they call it out, yeah, it shows like a, a healthy. Yeah, like a comfortability. Like yeah. you want to be comfortable, and I feel like it's a normal, natural thing. So. Like don't be wrong. Do I want to sit in the bathroom and shit in front of my partner? No, but wh well, like while she's in the shower, absolutely fucking lovely. If I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> You'll just sit there. Yeah, I'm with my little newspaper and just shit. Yeah, well, I mean, no, I get it. it. I'm in a really relationship where he wanted me to sit and have a conversation with him while he was taking a shit. While you were? Not me. Oh. But at the at the same point, he was the opposite with me. Like he didn't want to know if I ever took a shit. Oh, I don't. But he wanted me to sit in the bathroom with him. Have a conversation. While he is. Safe or he would FaceTime me. Safe space. I feel like more people do that. But he was against women, you know, any woman around him oh. taking a shit. Which I think is a very common thing. There are a lot of guys that don't want to know when women. I don't fucking care. It's, it's a normal body. thing. Why do they get so weird about it? Yeah. I don't know. Now, don't get me wrong. If, if I'm talking to, here's the thing. If I'm talking to someone, and there were times where I was talking to someone and they're over, uh -huh. and I was like, damn, I gotta, I gotta fart. <laughs> I'll hold that shit mm -hmm. because one, you're one fart away from being real single. Why? Because, listen. What I'll if it's say, nasty? What is. What's wrong with that? Here's the thing. I eat a shit ton of protein. Mm -hmm. A shit ton of protein. And you like women that work out and probably yeah, eat, eat also, a lot of yeah. protein. But, like, I also know, like, it, I, I know my diet, right? Uh -huh. So I know how my body reacts to certain things. So if I know I eat something, I'm just like, fuck, I should have eaten that. Then I know. That's I'm okay. Gonna, yes, but listen. No, it's not okay. Why because is it not say okay? you let one go, it could kill people. Farts don't kill people. The smell... The pe they bro. smell bad, yeah, yeah, but but like I don't want to. I I think me personally, I think some girls want if if it's too soon, they'll be like, oh, I've never seen that man again because of really how bad it is. I've never. I think so. I've never stopped talking to a me. guy because of that. That's just me. So you hold it. Yeah, or you make sure it, you don't. Yeah. I, I mean, that's considerate. We like that. Yeah, like I hold. I it. I do think that you have to get and to then, a as certain. As soon as they leave that door, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I do think you have to get to a certain point, but some people don't care. Yeah, no, I do think you have to get to a certain point. A certain point. In you the can't just first date. Just oh, let yeah. it rip. Yeah, no. That's, I feel like Consider that's just, it. I like that. Yeah. But once they leave, then well, what? Let that shit go. Like when I leave here, I'm letting that shit go. Jesus Christ. I'm just being considerate for Zeke's office. Huh. Don't want it to go up in flames. I'm going to show you a picture. And I want your first impression. Like what I see. So this, but don't say anything. This. Yeah, I know. Is a new fall candle from Bath and Body Works. First impression. Well, of the when I first decor well, on when the, I first saw it, I, I it looks like say it. KKK. Yeah. Yeah, so Bath and Body Works is in trouble because they have a candle that looks that resembles a KKK hood in a snowflake. I just don't think I I could see where they were trying to go. I just feel yeah, like Yeah, they were trying to do a cut out snow yeah, snowflake. I, I feel like if out they of paper. Just really did, maybe not the, the whole. The two eyes and a hood is where yeah, they fucked up. That's where they messed up. Two eyes with a point. Okay. So they issued an apology. As a sh as, and you know, they're remove, you know, working to remove it and reevaluate. And it's, listen, players make mistakes. Got to be more careful. I, I mean, I feel like somebody should have said something beforehand, but so yeah, someone should have caught on to that. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody did, but you know, you live and you learn. They made All mistake. right, this headline I just saw, I screenshotted and I didn't read into it, so we're gonna learn together. New York City rats will be given birth control. So okay, so when they have a rat infestation, mm -hmm. but how, how do you give? It says New York City rats might be infertile very soon. New York City Council passed a bill that will allow the city to leave rat bait 
that includes birth control. You gotta do what you gotta do for the city. Um, <clears throat> they're gonna leave the new contraceptives in specific Manhattan neighborhood neighborhoods, including Upper Manhattan. Uh, they tested it, and but it wasn't seen as a success. However, it's said to the new bait is to be said to be tastier formula that rodents will like. So they're basically trying this out. Bill was passed, even though it wasn't successful. That sounds pretty accurate. Um. So yeah. So rats are on birth control now. Just so you know. All right. So eHarmony, a dating app came out with this list of seven dating profile headlines right that are going to be going to be going to get you a date which i don't know so basically it's kind of like the start of it so the first one will be you'll never believe why i moved to whatever city like this is like a conversation starter yeah so I, Obviously, like you know, e harmony. Yeah, like, that? like I'd say, it, yeah, it'd be more of like a prompt on Hinge. Okay, yeah. E harmony, I guess, maybe has dating profile like intros or whatever. Yeah, I think that's a you know okay. I what think, do you think one of these would be? You already know one. Um, mm, damn. Well, so that one was you never guess why I moved here, right? Yeah, now. you'll never believe why I moved to this uh, city. I don't know. I'm coming up with blank. You know, they say that I'm one's saying. good. They said that one's good because it immediately opens up the conversation. It definitely does. It tells people you're new and that you have a story to tell, and it creates mystery about what's another. You. One? Give me another one, talking maybe. The next one says seeking someone to do to do blank with. Okay, that's okay. So maybe one could be uh, my biggest deal breaker because. I feel like people will know. That's not on here. Give me another one then. But they say they that's a good one because it tells people what you're looking for Fair. and the type of person you want to spend time with. Willing to lie about how we met. I feel like that's very common. Because I feel like people are against, oh, Media online. it's like, oh, I don't want to tell people we met on here. Yeah, I've seen that one. I don't want to tell a people I met on. A lot of women say on. that one, like, oh, uh, our first, our first date is us coming up with a backstory of how we met. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. So yeah. that's a good one. I just feel like, yeah, people are just like, there's still that like negative stigma, Which whatever, like, about like meeting when, that's where most people meet people now is online. Yeah, like 60%, right? Dating. 60%. I don't know the stats, but that's just what that other thing said. Okay. This one, I, I'm kind of shocked by. It says, quote, I'm sweet, ambitious, and thoughtful. What am I? If you want the absolute best dating profile headline, use these three words to describe your attributes. If they are true, that is. Why? When eHarmony analyzed over 12,000 profiles, they discovered that female profiles that included the words sweet, ambitious, and thoughtful saw between 20 to 45% more approaches. For men... The three most attractive words you can use to describe yourself are physically fit, ambitious, and and perceptive. So add those to your profile. Mm, interesting. The next one is, quote, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Oh, How do we feel about that one? I'm not feeling that one. I just, I, I'm not, that's not, I just, that one's just not. It says, use a quote or song lyric from one of your favorite books or bands, and you're bound to get a response from someone who catches and loves the reference. So maybe it's not that one exactly, but it's like a, use a quote that you like from like a lyric. <clears throat> Again, I'm not in agreement, but it says, looking for my Netflix and chill. Oh, that's awful. That's, that is the gonna, worst. I don't that's, know. That's the quickest way to get. Says so this can work as both bold or funny. If you're just looking for a fling or something with no strings attached, I guess it is getting okay, straight to the yeah, point. Yeah. If that's I thought we were talking about dating, but whatever. If that's what you're looking for, for sure. Says become a part of modern culture. It's pretty fun. All right. Who wrote this? Last one. I have an MBA, love tacos, and I'm looking for someone to play video games with. Oh, no. 
It says a study they did at London School of Medicine and University of North Texas discovered that the best ratio for online dating profile headlines is to include a 70-30 ratio of what you are like to what you want. So 70% what you like, 30% what you want. Yes. Plus, by using your headline to reveal some pieces about yourself, you'll draw the attention of the type of person you're looking see, for. I'm curious now if I'm 70-30. I don't think I am. Let's actually. see your profile. Let me see. For the next 10 minutes, we're going to analyze. <laughs> well, I know my prompts are... Let's see it. I haven't been on Hinge in months. So, picture... I don't see. I don't have any prompts. I have. This what do you mean you don't have any prompts? No, I I do, but like, I feel like those are open ended, meaning people like don't answer it. I, well, uh, like the the person who's replying is supposed to answer it. I feel like in these prompts we set the problem, but we answer it. Like for example, this a headline is describes yourself. Okay, well, I like mine. Let's is like, hear it. This year, I really want to. Say travel it. More. Okay. Okay. That's good. That yeah, just says so. what you're into. Yeah. Then my greatest strength is I'm hardworking, very confident, and I'm a very big family person. Okay. You got to add. So what does it say I need to you add? You need to add in. Will you talk about being physically fit at all on your profile? No, I don't like doing that. I feel like that's... Ambitious? I do have ambitious. Yeah. Confident and, and ambitious. Perceptive. Yep. And then my other one is, oh, this one's kind of physical physically fit but it's like typical sunday the gym and relaxing and that's it okay so i think my feel like your profile doesn't say what you're looking for though no, it what do you have it in your what am i looking for it, I, I don't have anything that says what am i looking for there it is so we just solved the mystery maybe that's the problem that's gonna be the miss wow. that's gonna be the key piece of you getting better so, matches well, that might be looking for what is your shit what does your shit say though like School, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then it, what is your, it, it you don't have a I'm looking birthday. for? No, I don't. It says birthday, height, location, don't have children. Do I drink sometimes? Do I smoke? No. And then my hometown. So add in mm -hmm. the I'm what I'm looking for section. I do. Please hold. God, what would you do without me? I'd be fine. I doubt it. It says dating intentions. Yeah, what are your intentions? So it says here's what the, are the options? Here's the options, life partner, mm -hmm. long term relationship, mm -hmm. long term relationship open to short, short term relationship open to long, short term relationship, figuring out my dating goals. Okay, and what is your <sighs> option? I don't necessarily want to say life partner. Okay, why? Because but why? The reason why I say that is I feel like that's a big jump. I feel like sometimes we need to start with maybe a long term relationship open mm -hmm. to short before we go to straight life. Partner. But why are you open to short? Yeah, you're right. I'm selling myself short life partner. I'm just saying, like, that to me is just like long, but if, if we don't do anything, it's fine. So maybe just a long term relationship. Is that truly what you want, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Long term relationship. I mean, but I also want a life partner, though. But I feel like saying life partner is just I feel like people, I don't think I've ever seen someone put life partner. And I feel like people get intimidated by that. Yeah. Men, especially. I don't know. So about, I, think, I feel I like think, women might like that better, seeing a guy put that. But I, I don't think women will be afraid of seeing. I think men get seeing, scared of the commitment. Yeah, I don't think women will be afraid seeing long term relationship. Either. I think. No, would, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm saying the life partner, I feel like women would be more accepting of. And then they have, they have relationship type monogamy, non monogamy, figuring out my relationship type. So what's yours? I, I just, for her, not, I just. So you wouldn't want monogamy? No, what, but I just don't say it. Why? I don't know. It's just hidden. I, I, I think to me it's like you should assume that, but you can't nowadays. You know, can't you write something under your intention? Um, I think you can. You maybe can. I have to dive into that. They have COVID vaccinations on there. They have That's... the zodiac sign. I learned to remove my zodiac. Why? Sign because I, I feel that more ladies when they see that. They, they, they go, Ugh, yeah, Aries. 100%. No, 100%. Oh, I hate Aries without, men. <laughs> without speak. No, 100%. So I was just like, let me just kind of hide that until they What ask. What are people's reactions to your sign? I, I haven't, I've gotten like, I haven't gotten any, Ugh. I've gotten like, oh, okay, oh, a fiery man or a fair very attentive but no real negatives but to to be honest i thought i was going to get a lot of negatives uh -huh. for aries men because i've heard 
mixed match. About no, they're just a fireball. I don't, yeah. I don't think. I, I don't think. I like, might have compared to negative Aries. Wait, one, one that's girl, a lie. One girl said that she couldn't stand. I think it was Capricorns or something like that. That was her thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just it, it's that's it. And then, what about dating your own sign? People have issues with dating their own sign. I I don't, I don't care what sign you are. No, I, what have I, your experiences been with? As yeah, an Aries, with an Aries. Yes, but I've also been with another Aries, yeah. and it worked fine. Yeah. So it's just like that. Just was one off. Right. So that's why I don't tend to like. Oh, it's your sign, and then. Uh, you know I mean? met my sign on a cruise ship. Oh, not a cruise like a month ago, y'all. I didn't post about it yet, but. <laughs> we know. Um, I'm gonna say, I enjoy cruises, but the cruise I went on, the age range was a little older. If I was looking for a sugar daddy, I probably would have been fine. Yeah. Maybe. If I'm ready to oh. be with a man on a walker. At least you found you a, a worker. A worker is crazy. Well, he worked on a cruise. Yes. Well, yeah, because nobody that was on yeah. the cruise, there's your like. Age. So you found you a worker. I a worker is nuts. I was at, I yeah. was at nuts. <laughs> you found a worker. Yeah, he works on a cruise. Yeah. So I'm he's just a saying. worker on the cruise. All right. Is a worker so Is that a bad term? I'm just saying. You it found a man that weird. works on the cruise. Thank you. That sounds much better. Who also works on the cruise? <laughs> I don't see. I don't I'm just see. saying. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was interesting. But that was someone that was same sign as me. And it worked. Oh yeah, but I don't know. I don't have the best perspective of male Virgos. Yeah, because they're crazy. What? No, they're not. I don't know. They're just kind of weird. <laughs> just like you. And that's why. That's why I didn't Sometimes work. people can't deal with the same, you know? I could care Someone less. who's just like you. You could care less. Like it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Hmm. What happened to that date you were supposed to go on? Oh, I, I haven't even haven't even said nothing. So what I happened? Have, you planned a date. I planned a date. She rescheduled. That was it. And so you don't feel like rescheduling? My fault. She didn't reschedule. She said we should reschedule, right? Uh huh. And I was. But she like, didn't say like how about this day? Yeah, she didn't necessarily give. And I replied. It's not like I left it on red. I was like, yeah. Hey, yeah, sounds good. Appreciate you letting me know. Yeah. I would think if you were interested, you would then be like, oh, what's another day that works for you? And I would have replied. But that's not what was said. So Nothing you don't was... feel like rescheduling? <clears throat> no, because I don't feel like that. That she was actually she it. wanted. If so. that this, if that was something you actually wanted, you would have you would have stated, "Hey, can we reschedule?" And then I could understand if I didn't reply, but I replied with, "Hey, yeah. I appreciate you letting me know. Yes, it's totally yeah. fine." And then you would say, "Hey, does this day this week work for you?" Perfect. I'll have mm -hmm. I'll have some I'll, I'll have something reserved. Right. Okay. Because I had something reserved on the Sunday. Yeah. And you canceled it. No, well, like, after. Yeah, after she let me know. Yeah. But it's just like, she let me know well ahead of time. It wasn't like an hour before. You know what I mean, it was like, that's true. Several or hours. Or just before. didn't show up. Or, yeah, Better than I her just flaking. That's what I said. I appreciate it. Yeah. But at the same time, it was just like, if you really wanted to reschedule, she would have. 100%. She, has, she didn't say anything? Not a single thing. Hasn't said a single yeah, I thing. I don't think she's interested no. that much. It, no, no. I, so I, she hits I, you up again and is like, hey, can, can we good. do it? I'm good. That's what you're going to say? I'm good. Yeah. You're gonna say no, never mind. Yeah, I'm good. No, I'm a grown man who can communicate. Who's twice your age? I'm good. Twice your age. I'm old, I'm oh, younger twice. I'm younger actually. Not twice your age. God damn. Not twice. No. Oh, She's fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. You said I am a grown no. man. Yeah, but I'm saying who is twice your age. I meant to. I meant to. I meant to say, I'm. I'm. I'm the younger one in the situation. So I, I know, yeah, and but, I know, but, you but I'm it, just saying you what said, you said. 14, what the fuck? Twice someone's age. No, hundred percent. I don't think she's that old. I think she's older than me. By she, like, she's not twice your age. No, she's only like ten years old. Right. God damn. That's. I don't see that as bad though. Clearly, I don't see that as bad. Oh yeah. That's my thing too. But to some women, they don't like that. Yeah. For, There's her, a lot of women her, that are like. Example, yeah. She was like. She was very Which adamant. Is, I mean, it's understandable. Yeah, well, I, I can understand. That's why people I in their twenties aren't yeah, usually as mature. I don't think you should make or an assumption just for based sure. off of the age. That's true. I could understand if I give you reason to make that. But, but you, like you said, this isn't the first time you interacted with her. Right? Yeah, but the the first time I did interact with her was in person. Yeah. Right, and it, it went well in person. Yeah. And then 
later, as because we were of texting, your age, she said no. And then yes, one hundred percent because um, I she was like, oh, I never asked you. This was like four days later. She's like, oh, I never asked you what your age. Yeah. Was. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm twenty. 26 at the time yeah she was like oh you're way too young i was like because oh. i didn't know her age nor did i ask yeah. i thought she looked young so i she looked to me she was looking like 29 30. Oh, okay yeah yeah so to me that's you yeah. thought you were closer in age <laughs> yeah i thought we were but it didn't bother me you know right I mean? but it bothered her and i was like listen i gotta sit here and beat a dead horse it's so just, this is the second time she's been denied by her technically yeah, which I I and I said it too. I was just like, like what we, happened we, to my age? Like I'm yeah, still the same. That's what I said. I age said, difference. I didn't really, and I kept asking. I was like, nothing has really changed. Like besides. So do you year. think she canceled for the reason she told you, or because she just didn't didn't really want to see you? Um, I think she canceled because of the reason mm -hmm. that she told me. Yes, uh, but I also think she canceled because she just she couldn't get over the age thing. I, I really, me personally, I really believe like that was ticking in the back of her head. Mm -hmm. She was just fi trying to find something else. Damn. And when she realized, ah, oh, I just don't think I could do it, she rescheduled and just couldn't do it. So it Damn. is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not finna lose sleep over it. I slept well that night. I slept actually better. Mm. Because of it. Probably. Slay. Listen, you know. With your mouth taped shut. With my mouth shut, that's for sure. Mouth <laughs> taped shut, Vicks on the chest. Breathing good. Breathing fucking good. Getting that good sleep. Good sleep. Window was open. It was Fan nice on. outside. No, 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 no. Oh, that's weird. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, I, I don't, AC on. I, I fan the, on. Booty butt the, naked. I, no, okay. We don't, we don't sleep. Sleeping like good. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. It's the best sleep you're going to get. You should try it. I think I'm a... I like sleeping with my boxes on. Yeah, men don't like to sleep naked, really. Yeah, it just, it just, I just feel... One guy told me he doesn't sleep naked because what if something I need to get up and oh, defend yeah. somebody and I'm yeah, like I know I see I all right I, I one thing I find weird though is when I sleep now even though it's like cold outside I like the nice cool air mm -hmm. but I put the blanket like right below my belly button but I don't cover my feet so it's like my the blanket covers my belly right below my belly button uh -huh. going all the way to my ankles. And that's all that's covered. I don't know why I have to sleep like that. And, and lately, you don't think something's gonna eat your feet? N no. Why? Why the fuck would something eat my feet? Why would you not cover your feet? Why would something? Why would something eat my feet? You never know. No, I'm not. That's why you gotta cover your feet. No, I I like the. I feel something's like gonna my, grab you in the middle get, of the night. When my, don't say that. Don't say that. I cannot sleep I, if my sleep, feet are not I sleep, tucked. I sleep with my what do you call it right next to me too. Okay. So I'm just saying. Nothing grabbing me. The feet, bro. A hand's gonna reach up like in a scary movie and grab them feet.